Mask off, gigs up, the truth is out. This is a sponsored video, but hold it. This is a product I don't think you've seen before, and I think you should give it a shot. It's completely free. No pesky World Anvil or Kanka subscriptions needed. You don't need to download anything or start an account. You just need to go to masterscreen.app and press launch. I'm going to give my honest, unfiltered thoughts about Master Screen. We're starting off with the good stuff before the critique, so Big Bad Dominique doesn't kill me. All right, immediately, we got the slickest presentation ever. No ads, no clutter. This baby's designed for the modern age. Master Screen runs on entries. Entries can be things like NPCs, monsters, and items. You can make up your own templates for other systems and other things like historical events. My guy Dominique, the creator of Master Screen, is always improving a service. Send him your love, cat photos, and feedback here, here, and here. After you finish making entries, they show up on the sidebar here. You can make folders and they're organized by logo for quick, easy organization. You can upload your entries or use entries from other people in the marketplace. No load screens, no weight, a seamless product. Want to roll dice? It's got that. Want a sick combat map? It's got that. Seriously, check it out. All right, so here are my more honest thoughts on Master Screen. It has potential, but it lacks direction. It lacks vision. Master Screen really just needs to pick a lane and stick to it. An online dungeon master only needs two tools, a virtual tabletop and a note-taking tool. Master Screen has all these great features for note-taking and content creation, but then we have something like the combat map. I'm not going to smear my bile all over what obviously took some effort, but the combat map seems to distract from everything else. It's hard to see what the combat map is designed for. You need a combat map? You pull one out from the thousands of ones out there, slap together some tokens and a token maker, and bam! I don't know when this would be useful, since the combat map doesn't have multiplayer functionality. Nobody can use Roll20 and the GM has to screen share? I think that's the only case where it's useful, but you must be a real masochistic son of a gun to play like that. So when developing Master Screen, Big Daddy Dom has to pick between making his product a full-fledged virtual tabletop or a DM note-taking tool. Virtual tabletops are hard to make, hard to keep running, and have stiff competition already. Who wants to be the guy that programs Roll20's dynamic lighting? Now, the note-taking scene? There are more competitors, but they're specifically oriented for world building or writing in general, not just GMing. Even the ones I have considered for GM note taking have had some whack pricing model or had the most unpolished UI ever. I think this master screen can really kick off if Dom goes all in on making a note taking tool. When I want to take notes, I want to feel classy. If not that, at least uncluttered. On a sheer performance level, master screen meets this with flying colors. Runs great, looks great, feels great. I'm in a women's shampoo commercial. I'm tempted to port my world building content over, but there's one problem. How do I bold text, Daddy Dom? Tell me. The only way to stylize my text is to use Markdown. But how do you use Markdown? I know the basics like a single star on either side to do italics or two to bold, but I think there needs to be a legend or key for basic functions. Imagine if I was a regular human being who wasn't perpetually on forums. I would have no idea how to do basic formatting on master screen. Your only link to Markdown gives me a 60 page PDF. In all seriousness, there needs to just be some built in integration of basic formatting. Make the tutorials obvious to find and make the tutorials include how to format easily. Just basic hotkeys and functions are all we need in this dark, cruel, uncaring universe. My only other complaint is that there needs to be more templates to compete with some of the World Anvil functions. Templates for timelines, historical events, places, stuff like that. In combination with people sharing content on Master Screen and the service getting more feedback and features, it could become the best GM preparation service out there. Seriously, try it out for yourself and let Dom know how it is on his Twitter or Discord. It's free and you can open it up in a new tab right now. Thanks for watching! Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed! This is my first time doing a sponsored video, so maybe it's a change of pace. I'm trying to make my sponsored videos as meaningful as my normal ones. I also tried a different style of script and a more comedic tone for this video. Let me know how that went in the description below.